Hello, August Lulum here, and today I'm going to show you how to modify the texture of a model. Now, how this is achieved is through modifying its VMT parameters, which SFM can do on the fly through the Element Viewer. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this turret glow and change its color. I'm going to change the color of its body and make its eye glow. So, first thing you're going to have to do is find the turret model, and here it is. Now right click, show an element viewer, model, and now we see all the properties of this model. We're going to add one. So click on the game model, right click, add attribute, element array, and name it materials, all lowercase. This is case sensitive. So now we have our materials element. So now we're going to add an element to it, this element array. And we're going to add a DME material. So now we have this DME material and it's called new element. Let's give it a more creative name. Something like color. So now we have this color element and what it's got in it is name and MTL name. The MTL name is the path to the texture. You do not have to put the whole path in it to select it. So I want to select the turret casing. So what I would do is put models, NPCs, turret, turret, casing. Now if you don't know what the textures you're looking for, Open it up in the Half-Life Model Viewer, it will point you to it. So now we have this texture selected, and now we want to change it. So what we're going to do is add a new attribute. We're going to add a Vector3, and we're going to call it Color2. This is a VMP, this is a VMT parameter. Now, you might be wondering why it's called color too. Well, color, regular color, is designed for albedo textures, while color two is designed for model textures. So, I'm going to make this color two, and now we have R, G, and B. And I'm going to turn off the lighting so this is easier to see. And now you see it's taken effect as zero 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 with no color is black. So. Let's add one to red. Adding one, one, one turns it to its default white. Let's make it a light green. One, two, one, or one, three, one. So now you see it is a lime green turret. So now we want to make the eye glow a little brighter. So what we're going to do is go back to our materials element array. We're going to add a new element, which will also be a DME material. And it's called new element again. So let's call it something more like glow. So now we have this glow element which is set up exactly like the color element was with its name and the MTL name. So I'm going to fill this in. So now we're going to give this a new attribute, and we're going to make it a float value. Now the interesting thing about float values is that they can be exported as animation sets and edited like anything else in SFM. Now what I would recommend you do is, if you know how VMTs work, experiment with this, see what works with float, what doesn't, maybe share your findings, it would really help the community out. So make a new float value, and I'm going to put self-illume tint. 
Now, self alume tint needs self alume one to work, and I have not found a way to make it work in the Element Viewer. So, if you you want to make a material glow which doesn't glow by default, go into your VMT, ch add self alume one to it, and set it to zero or one if you don't want it to glow and you only want to glow some parts of the movie. So, I'm going to put self alume tint. And here it is. Now you see it's set to zero. It's kind of creepy because it's empty. So I'm going to change that to one, which is the default. So now we can export it as an animation set. Create animation set for element. And now we get this min and max value prompt. Now I would set the minimum value to one, and I would recommend the max to about four. So now we've exported it. We can see it here, glow one. And yeah, it's an animation slider. You slid up, slid down, and you can see it's taking effect in SFM. And we can manipulate it and animate it so that it doesn't glow at all at sometimes and does at others. And yeah. Happy animating.